So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at this extra large wood burning stove and you get the top for it, what's the pan holder. And of course, if we've got a stove going, we're going to cook some beautiful pieces of steak. But I'm going to come across now and say this, this stove has faults and there may be dangerous faults. So keep watching and I'll show you exactly what's wrong with this stove. So this stove is from Red Camp. Now there's plenty of other stoves like this on Amazon, eBay, other selling points all over the internet. But like I said, this is an XL size one. And I got this stove because it had a feature that I really liked. And that is the pot holder. But just for one second, once I pull these pot holder stands up like this, it's where your pots are gonna go. Look at the design of that. Okay, look at these. Now look at this picture here. This is what I got it from Amazon thinking I was gonna be getting. You see that? That is a completely different design. I contacted Amazon and they're saying there's nothing wrong. That's the design. That's what you got. I didn't get that design. I tried leaving a comment on the Amazon selling page, but Amazon won't post it. Now these could have done with being longer for smaller pans, so you're gonna to have to make sure you put a bigger pan on there. Now I'm gonna get the stove out, because the stove takes a few seconds to put up. So once you take your ashtray out, and then you take away your top grill, the part where your fire sits on just drops into place. You can see here, it's got like some little hooks, so you need to make sure your stove clicks into place on each side. Feed your ashtray from the side. So the thing what I think is dangerous, this is just the first thing what's dangerous. It's something to do with this. On other stoves, people say you've got to do it the way I'm going to show you, but on this larger stove, you can't do that. So what they say is you put your top grill in place and to hold it in place, because you can see it moves around a lot there. What someone was saying, you've got to do it that way and you've got to use the handle here to push down over the handle of the tr top tray. Well, we all can see that ain't gonna work. Now, this is gonna be an issue. What's gonna happen is, as and when you're heating the stove up, you're gonna be opening the door. This handle here is gonna get warm, okay? Now, when you try to shut the door, the door's clashing with it. See what I mean? It's not even allowing it to lock around it, what would be a lot easier if it did. So when this handle's hot, you're going to have to be touching this handle. Don't do it with your hands, I hope. Try to get a bit of a, a stick, push it up and lock it like that. But that is going to be warm as well. So this handle here is just completely in the way. I've just shown you that you can't use it to lift up or to lock down the top grill. So to put your pot holder on, it won't go like that because it's not safe at all it'll just move around so you need to take that off and place the pan holder or pot holder over the top of your stove and it just doesn't seem safe there we go it's a little bit bare but this is going to be your second problem what's going to happen with this is with the heat coming up from the stove onto your pan this is going to warp and this is going to buckle it's going to twist now there's no welding here there's no stiffeners on the inside to help it keep it shaped the pot holders they're just quite flimsy no they're not the best so this is going to be the biggest problem because when this warps then your pot your pan is going to be eventually on a tilt like that what could cause a lot of problems but let's see if it works i'm just thinking this may happen Let's get some fire going, let's get that frying pan on, and let's cook some steak. So at the weekend I did a camp and I used some of this magnesium powder and people seem to like it so I thought I'd do it again today. 
basically all you need to do is pour a little bit over some dry wood and then what you need to do is just give it a little spark So the trick with these stoves are start them off with small pieces and then slowly build your way up to pipes that well, are going to last a lot longer. So if you're not ever feeding the fire, you're doing other stuff. And you put bigger pieces, and obviously going to burn for a lot longer time. But I'm going to show you this other stove, what's the same as this, but not as big. But I think works probably just as better than this one actually. So this is the smaller version of it. Basically what I did is I took this to work and I modified it for myself. You saw on this one where it had the bars at the bottom where the fire stands. Well, I put this bit of metal on it there with a load of holes in, just so it keeps the embers of the fire on top. And it just helps keep the heat there a little bit, you know, sitting all dropping down. And basically all you have to do is put it into place, same as that one. This one didn't drop down into place like that one did. And basically it just comes out just like that. That's a lot smaller, a lot more better. And I modified these, I took the other handle off there and I drilled some holes here. So basically I put them through there like that in place. I haven't used this stove for a long time. And then I cut out some little holes here where the handle can just slot in place. And that made that a lot better, less movement. So it wasn't as dodgy when you were cooking food on it. And it didn't really affect anything with the door opening. Like it's a door seized up a little bit there, but I'm going to show you the size difference. There you go, you can just see the size difference. I'll share a link in the description for one like this if you want to buy it. It'll come how they did it and not as I made it, but it's a lot better and it's just a lot easier with the, the size, really. Because this one now we're going to, have to start putting the bigger pieces in, and it's going to burn a lot more wood, really. But we need to keep feeding it no matter what we do, so we need to get some heat built up in there so now the top is on let's see if it warps or not let's see if I'm right here I think it's gonna warp really bad Just put the frying pan on Oh, look at the size of the frying pan. Bigger the pan, more the food. Two beautiful pieces of sterling steak seasoned with salt pepper and today we put some mint on it so this is going to be mint how cheesy with that eh? put mint on it so it's going to be mint <laughs> so cheesy <laughs> look if you're liking this video and you're going to be like cooking the steak and stuff give the video a massive thumbs up please it really helps with ranking in youtube and stuff like that and drop me any message you want really it's really up to you would you prefer the larger stove what's you know more care of all the wood you're going to need or would you prefer the smaller stove something a little bit more manageable my little usa book knife there in case anyone was interested sort of all right for things like this in it let's get this steak on so once again i brought out my little fire maple cook set chopping board salt and pepper a few stencils here i need these ones it's not bad really pretty good for this sort of stuff this frying pan is extremely hot let's listen out for the sizzle <laughs> Let's go for round two.
So rank that sizzle out of 10 for me. Comment below, one to 10, what do you think? I'm gonna go with six, because it was brilliant, but it wasn't like, so I'm gonna mark six out of 10 for that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. It's great seeing you guys get involved with the videos like that. Let's flip these steaks over. So just like I thought, this handle here is absolutely red hot. So I really want to be careful not to be touching that. Because it does get in the way a lot. Ah, all that area is a bit warm. I'm going to have to make sure you use a stick to open and shut your stove. But you can see how it's in the way, can't you? You have to see if it stays up, but it doesn't. That is a problem. Right, I just want to quickly run you through some measurements as the steak is cooking away. So from there to there, crossways, it is 10.2 inch, 26 centimeters. If you take the pot holder off, it's a little bit smaller. So the length of it from top to bottom is 12.6 uh, inch, 32 centimeters. And from the bottom and the top, the squareness of it all is 7.9 inch that's 20 centimeters like I said it'd be 20 centimeters once you take the pan holder off so it just gives it a little bit more length in it with the pot holder on and it weighs 2.9 kilos 2.9 kilos made out of stainless steel slightly heavy for a store especially when you can be getting one like this but smaller and lighter now you can get the expensive ones you've got your bush box your fire box You've got all the expensive ones like that, what, like this one, all open up. But they're a lot more money. Things like this do the same. It's just this stove, the bigger one, it seems to have the problems what I knew it'd have. The handle's hot and the top is warping. So that's probably the main problems with it. You can deal the hand, with the handle by just not closing the stove. But if you leave the stove door open, a lot of heat escapes from there and more heat will come to the top of the stove, to the pan if you close your door but it seems to be doing fantastic cooking doesn't it see it can be done with two sticks so you see how the stove settled down then yeah as soon as they open that door the heat settled down a bit the handle wants to stay up a little bit there so maybe that's not a bad thing yeah as soon as you move it, it's gonna fall a lot of people do like to see this little set oh, I didn't clean it from last time we use opposite side yeah I'll share a link in Amazon to this it's really good little set this is it's not very heavy either right well, I know what someone's gonna say you've overcooked your steak I don't like mine bright red on the inside, let's say, rare. I like it well done. If you ask me. Don't look too badly cooked that, does it? Mm. 
That is beautiful. There's no better than eating your food outdoors. Cooking it like this. The stove is overkill, it's a bit too big for this. Like I've already said a few times, there's a smaller one. I say get that, or get the smaller one that I used last week. What is this one? Uh, 17 pound I think I paid for it. Stainless steel, Lexada. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will share it at the end for you so you can go see that. This stove, I've used it twice now and it seems to kept its shape and everything was perfect. This sort of size, I think is everything you need. That sort of size is a bit OTT. Why did I buy it? To show you guys on YouTube, just in case you're thinking about buying it. I don't mind paying the money out for them. That one cost me £40. I don't mind paying the money if it means saving other people money. It's what my channel's all about. Just being honest, down to earth and enjoying the great outdoors. Let's get some more steak. If you don't want to use it as a halt for cooking on, you can take that back off with a bloody hot. Oh, stupid thing to do. I don't think the door's going to close because of these long pieces of wood. We can just chuck them back over like that. Should be alright now. See? That hot handle won't even wait, it wouldn't be too bad, would it? Then you could just use it as a firebox. This is a little campfire, maybe. So I've let it cool down, and like I said, you can just see how bad it's warped. I noticed it within the first four or five minutes. That is where the main danger part's going to come because now. If you try put another pot on that next time round, it's going to be unbalanced, it could fall off. Anything could happen now because that is so warped. Now, I'm going to see if I can bend it back, but you can just see. You know, you can just see from there. You can. I'm getting it back to its original shape, but you'll never get it back to its complete original shape. We're getting there. A bit better, isn't it? It's a bit better, but it's still. You, if you get this, I wouldn't use that. I just use the top grill. I don't think it make any difference if you put the pan on top of the grill. Let's give it a try. Let's see what happens there. Eh? Yeah, you, you do seem to suffocate a little bit, don't we? But I think if we open the door, that's absolutely roasting. Only if that'll allow airflow to come in and control that. Yeah, it's doing it, isn't it? It's helping it a little bit. You can see the frying pan here heating up the fat from the steaks and the bit of oil that I put in. So I think you better do a good job with it just like that an easy way to clean your frying pan a little bit let's get a bit of grass you never want to get rid of the oil you're going to get rid of a lot of the bits and stuff there we go right so the stove went back in its carry bag all right, not too bad. Only thing what has moved, like I said, is the pan holder. The handles are a bit of a dangerous thing as well. You're going to burn yourself if you're not careful there. Now, if you want to see this one, what I ran about earlier to you, I will leave a link here for you, especially for that stove. Check it out. I cooked in a, a stir fry with it. So you can check that out if you want. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's the first time you're seeing me, you can press this here, it'll help you subscribe. And most of all, please give the video a massive thumbs up and check out this video. I'll see you next time.